Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Ross. I'm a photographer and video maker from Northern Ireland. Welcome to my YouTube channel. A few weeks ago, my wife Ruth and I headed to Sleeve Crube for an overnight stay in a cool little Airbnb. If you didn't already know, Ruth is also a photographer who shoots people, products and places, all local to Ireland. As Ruth was there to capture the Airbnb we were staying in, I decided to come along for the ride and bring with me my Yashica Electro 35 GTN, loaded up with a roll of Ilford XP2 Super 400 film and walk around capturing the area. This was my first time shooting with the Electro 35, so a lot of the shots I took on this short trip were taken with the aim of testing the usability of the camera and the latitude of the film. I chose XP2 as it's a relatively cheap stock that can be developed in the C41 process. The idea behind this was if the film didn't come out, I wasn't wasting too much money shooting this roll. That being said, however, I do love the look of XP2. It's sharp with a fine grain and good contrast, which is what I look for in a black and white stock. XP2 is very forgiving in the highlights, but less forgiving in the shadows, so it's usually best to overexpose by one or two stops, which is what I tried to do for these images. So anyway, on to the roll. If anyone out there has experience shooting with the Electro 35 or with Ilford's XP2 Super 400 film, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences, stories, or tips on using this camera or this film stock. I can spend my days up here rightly. I've taken about six photos and I'm really enjoying myself. I don't know if you can tell. I'm probably getting absolutely scorched out here. I've got no sun cream on, but it is gorgeous. See him? Wow. I don't usually shoot landscape photos, but um, I'll be doing it again because I have got so much from this, the scenery and just walking about, being in nature. I now understand why all those people do landscape photography. It is just so rewarding to, even if you weren't taking photos, just to be out here walking about, drinking in nature. It's so nice, I'm a changed man. Hopefully I'm not too sunburned. I'm just going to head back down to the Airbnb to uh, check on Ruth, see how she's getting on in her shoot and um, yeah, going to head back. See you later. Hello, guys. Hello. One, two, 
You're good, guys. Hey, hey, use who? Lee's. Is it Lee's place or Lee's pals? I'm not going to share. I don't know how black and white film render sunsets, but um, I think I've taken all my shots for today. So we're gonna jump in the hot tub and enjoy the rest of our evening. And then I'll take the rest of the photos tomorrow. Whew. So while Ruth's been working away shooting this Airbnb, I was walking around with the Yashica Electro 35 camera and taking my first roll of film, which was the Ilford XP2 Super 400 film. I've tried to overexpose every photograph, but the metering on the Yashica Electro 35 is a little bit hard to get used to. The only way you have to tell whether it's gonna be the correct exposure or not is two lights on the camera. Obviously, I've never shot with XP2 Super 400 film before. You can overexpose by a lot and still retain detail in the highlights. So I've been setting my ISO dial on this camera at 200 and below. I think only one photograph I did at 400, which is the box speed of this film. Obviously with film photography, you've got to take so much more care over every single shot. It's really nice to slow down and like take every photo with purpose, but it is kind of scary because you don't know if what you've shot even will come out in the end. I think Ruth's just finishing up getting her last few photographs of Sleeve Crib Farm, which is the Airbnb we stayed at last night. So we're gonna pack up and hit the road in the next 10 minutes or so. We're jumping in the car and heading out to get breakfast. And if there's anything that I see uh, on the side of the road, we're gonna pull over and I can jump out and try and get uh, another good photograph. So if you're still with me, if you're still watching, drop a comment below. Tell me what your favorite frame has been so far and yeah, I'd love to hear from you.